The Genshin 3.2 livestream just ended and we got so much new stuff that we just have to cover it here. Now, the Nahida and Yoimiya banners are going to come out at the same time for phase one of the event wish. So if you guys want to pick up any of these characters, this is your time. And I highly recommend that you get Nahida. She is, after all, the Archons of the game and you know how powerful they can be. We've already seen some of the footage for Nahida's actual skill set, including her elemental skill as well as, as her elemental burn and we've also seen her weapon so it is safe to assume some of the stuff that we might need to actually build Nahida. Now for some of the stuff that you actually might need to know about in terms of this actual update, um, the phase 2 of the event which also features a new 4 star character Layla and apparently she's going to be pretty good so we're gonna have to wait to see how good she actually is. And in terms of the new weapons we've seen the new weapon for the uh, Lesser Lord Kusanali which is something along the lines of a thousand floating dreams the new catalyst and i don't think they've shown what it actually does but i'm pretty sure it is going to be something with em and something else to note about this 3.2 live stream update is the whole uh you can get a free dory in one of the events which is pretty cool now if you guys want to make your nahida as strong as possible this is how i would build it now if we just go over here to um let's use lisa as an example because she has catalyst now the catalyst that I would, you know, personally use on Nahida would be something that has elemental mastery in it. And the cool thing about catalyst is that you have a lot of options and they're good options. Now, if you guys are like me and have summoned at all in this game, uh, you are likely to have a copy of Sacrificial Fragments. And this would actually be a pretty good option for you guys to actually use with your Nahida. Not only do you get an elemental skill down reset it's also going to provide a lot of element mastery and it's going to be pretty good for you in terms of how much you want to output out of your nahida now there are also good free four star options such as the mapa mirror which we could talk about but all you need to know is that it has elemental mastery now in terms of her other weapons that she could potentially use in order for her to be you know a little bit more powerful um you could actually use the widsith the nice thing about this weapon is that they, there's a chance you can get 420 elemental mastery through a refinement rank 4 for example but i think refinement rank 1 is around 240 which is still a lot of elemental mastery and if you do miss that chance you'd either get an attack buff which is pretty good or elemental damage buff which is also still pretty good so yeah you could definitely use this weapon and if you want a really strong nahida uh I, I, I would use this weapon um in terms of her actual artifact build i would go with of course the new artifact set which is the which is the ones we already currently use on some of the dendro characters already um such as kole or the dendro um mc now these characters use the dendro set which has a dendro damage bonus as well as after the elemental skill or burst you actually decrease people's dendro resistance this is pretty good and it can actively be pushed on the field because of how nahida works i would definitely recommend this set if you guys want to have a decent um nahida going on now in terms of what's actually in the artifact set i would assume you would want to stack elemental mastery otherwise maybe some crit damage crit rate um if you want to de deal more damage but i do know that you are going to need a lot of energy recharge so i highly recommend you guys get something uh in your artifact sets that give energy recharge it doesn't have to be typically on your sands it can be you know sporadic it can be like in your flower or whatever just something to cover your base now that's how i'm going to be you know leveling up and that's how i'm going to be building my nahida i'm going to you know put all of my efforts onto the actual elemental skill or the elemental burst in order for me to get the most out of my nahida as i mentioned before with the new update you get a bunch of new stuff including in the actual events you can get a free copy of dory so do not forget to do those events as well as you also get a new uh, mini boss which is the dendro hypostasis that is for your i'm assuming your nahida materials so i guess you gotta wait until you can actually max out your nahida and you also get a new final boss or just boss i guess quote unquote which is going to be the balladeer this is going to be an awesome fight and i cannot wait to finally get a first of all new boss onto the actual game and the actual archon quests have been fun yes <laughs> they've been pretty fun i actually enjoyed 
watching them and actually playing through it for the first time ever i think i didn't skip a dialogue in the actual archon quest because i'm actually genuinely enjoying it it has been a while since i have enjoyed an archon quest to this degree so i'm kind of happy that it is going well to that state and i hope it continues this way for a while because they've been doing a good job at that at least usually you just want to skip through the entire thing because of how boring it is and i know it's probably going to be soon until we have to do that again but for now i'm just enjoying the moments which i can just put it on auto and actually enjoy it which is actually a pretty nice change of pace anyways there are a bunch of new stuff and there are a lot of things to do for this new patch and i want you guys to be tuned in into my channel if you guys want to watch more of this type of stuff subscribe to my video like this video so you can come back for the algorithm and i will see you guys all in the next video very soon Bye bye